don't need to get the camera. Uh, all right, okay. All right, ready? Look at the camera, though. Look at the camera. Ready to do it. Okay, ready. Cabo, here we come. Cabo, Cabo, here we come. You have to say it with an accent, darling. Cabo. Give me some of that, please, please. Jeez, you took it all. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, the acquittal of a man charged with the murder of a Catholic and forty down to We're not going to cook when we get to Cabo. Uh, no, We're going to have a maid yes. and a driver. Yes. <laughs> and I can have as many girlfriends as I want. What? Wrong. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin. I'd like you to meet your brother, Lee.
vegetarian for sitting. You really don't remember nothing? What about her? You telling me you don't remember nothing about her? How is that possible? I don't remember the funeral, the car accident, or anything before the hospital. I just know what I was told. So if you don't remember her, you don't remember me, right? The doctor said you're my brother and I should trust you. The doctor said to bring you here because if we're lucky, it'll jog your memory. I don't know how lucky we'd be. Whatever. Listen, I know... Whoa, okay, all right, sorry. I know one thing, if you're faking this for sympathy, hey, you used to be bigger than me, but you ain't no more. And if you got some angle here, God help me. Your room's the last on the right, in case you forgot that, too. How are you feeling? I'm alive. I've been telling Bill at the Sheriff's Department that they need to put a sign on that curve. Maybe now they'll listen. What have you got in your hand? It's my first recovered memory, I think. I was digging through this old drawer and, and the second I saw it, the word Blackfoot came to mind. Congratulations. In a whole week and you remember something finally. Maybe by the time you're 80 you'll remember how to tie your shoelaces. He doesn't seem to like me very much. It's okay, honey. You've got to understand, his whole world's been turned upside down. Yeah. Anyway, I, I picked this up and I said Blackfoot, so I, I think it was mine when I was a kid. I think your father gave it to you. 
He used to carry that engine around everywhere he went. How old was I when he left? Do you know where he is? Where we can reach him? The last thing that your mama would have wanted was for you to see him. You must be loving this. Everybody's all, how's Ben doing? I hope poor, poor Benjamin's all right. I lost my mom too, god dang it. And it's worse for me, because I remember. I made some coffee. It was petty of me to behave the way I did yesterday. Ain't very Christian of me, so I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, I, I'm not very much help to you around here, and I know the last thing you need right now is, is this. All right, then. What's that? Um, muffins. Aunt Stacy brought them. This. this changes everything. We totally have to find him now. Totally? We should do that. We should. Both of us. Let's track down our father together. You ain't got a clue what you're talking about. And I'm trying to change that, all right? I had my first memory the other you day. You remembered a toy from when you were four. Right. Maybe the most recent stuff is buried deepest. Like, like I don't know, like if I, if I start at the beginning. Aunt Stace said that Mom wouldn't want us meeting him. Do you remember that? Why did she bring basket, Lee? I don't know. She obviously had a change of heart. Look, it was 25 years ago. Part of me thinks, like, if I could find him, that's my best shot at remembering her. I'm guessing these are your favorites. Let's do this, Lee. We have to do this. I ain't gotta do nothing, man. Come on, let me help you with whatever it is you're doing. Right. 
Think of it that way. The sooner I get my memory back, the sooner I'm out of your way here. Huh? Well, that's the smartest thing you've said all day. Listen, I know you hate me, all right? I'm not deaf and blind, too. And I'm sure you have your reasons. Maybe we can fix it. Would you stop and listen to me? Come on, help me, please. They got t-shirts in there in case you want something different to wear. Yeah. Sucker's Italian. Anything else fill out cardboard? All right. So have you ever actually been on a road trip before? I did 13 hours once. So it's safe to assume you've actually never left Texas then. You know. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> the drugs make you more clever out there or something? Where? The, um, the hospital. Who knows what they gave me, man? Well, hey. The best part is, it's true. I ain't never left Texas. This is crazy. There's like 20 Vincent Sapienzas in this city. It's a whole half page. I bet their chili ain't even that good. We just got to call them all. Look at that line, man. What's it for? Hot dogs. That's it? So what are you going to do? You're going to call all these folks and you're going to say what? Hi, my name is Ben. Any chance you got a son you ain't seen in 25 years? Uh, no. First, I'm going to narrow down the field. Afternoon, sir. Yes, I'm calling from Twilight Insurance. Well, you have a lovely voice as well, ma'am. Is your husband home? Sunrise Insurance. Today we're running a special for 30% uh, off of your health insurance. Uh, are you between the ages of 40 and 65 years old? My name is Billy Johnson. And we're calling today to see if we can get you my a name deal. Is my name is Edward Grimes. I'm with Sunrise Insurance. I'm with Sunrise Insurance. My name is Billy Johnson. And what is your age? Great, great, great. Fantastic. <laughs> That's true. No, uh, but are and that'll be in the mail in the next couple of days. Thank you.
Done that before? <laughs> I don't know. But it worked. Done that now what? Go knock on all those folks' doors? No, well, we still have a whole hell of a lot of Vincent Sapiens as old as we are fathers. So, think of it this way. At least you get to see the city. Yeah. Cowboy graffiti. Now I've seen everything. Stop stealing my tips. Hey, man. We'll work another fucking street. Hey! It's none of your business, man. You said it's none of your business. Well, I see two fellas beating up one. That makes y'all bullies, and this my business, because I don't like bullies. I can't even tell who you're supposed to be. Listen, I can't let you hit that kid again. Just get on out of here. Oh, really? Fuck, man, I'm out of here. This is not worth it. Well, we've just entered Bizarro World, haven't we? Where the heroes, the heroes are villains. And the villains are heroes. Here's your stuff, man. You gonna be all right? What? He said, are you gonna be all right? Yeah. Yeah, those dogs won't bark for a while. Maybe you should think about a different costume or job or something. Cast jobs are key to staying off the grid. Those were nice moves. Who taught you those nice moves, huh? Was it the government? Black Ops? What? No. Well, Ben. Technically, how would you know? Oh, yeah, true. I don't know, could be. <laughs> Interesting. I'm Coyote. Ben. I'm Lee. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Did your mama name you that? <laughs> My calling named me that. Howling at the moon is what I do. The question is, what is it you do? We're on a multi-state road trip. Yeah, trying to find somebody. A mission, Agent Ben? A personal mission, yeah. We're uh, trying to locate our father. He lives here somewhere. A crusade? Uh, <laughs> sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Lexus, Nexus, baby, none of that. <laughs> Fuck you, baby. This kid is bad shit. Wait. How do I know you're not on a job? More importantly, how do you know you're not on a job? I've... I've been relieved of my duties. They wiped my memory clean at the government and put me back out in the population. You've gone rogue. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was it was dang nice meeting you, cop. You take care, okay? Stay out of alleys. Wait, 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 wait. Now I owe both of you, okay? Say you're looking for someone. Well, let me help you locate your target. Now, 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 now. I'm good at that. It's all right. We, we wait, 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 wait. Do you can you actually show us where Melrose Street is? 
follow me. We checked half of them and half of them have moved. This is gonna take forever. Let's just give up and go to Disneyland. We are not giving up, all right? We just need a new plan. I'm starting to lock this down, big brother. Be careful. Some of the people you see walking around these particular parts of Los Angeles are spies who've given the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, paranoid fella, Cal. Did anybody ever tell you that? They have sex changes. They have it chopped off. They what? He's never even left Texas, man. Don't give him a heart attack. That was a real girl, I promise. Nine hundred north. Interesting. Who lists a church-themed nightclub as their address? Maybe a club owner? <laughs> it's closed. Another dead end. It's all right. We can come back later. Even better, we'll come back tonight when it's full of women. Hopefully. Shut up, man. Take the fun out of everything. more security cameras than normal. Now, I don't normally do this, but I suppose I could call on the Legion of the Flying Monkeys for help. The what? Those who are switched on. You mean like your other homeless buddies? Not homeless, not homeless. Who said homeless? Sorry, man. I'm addressless. There's a difference. OK. Not bad. But I mean, seriously, look at you. Give me a break. Look at all this stuff. Everything has a purpose. Well, you know, except that. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with homemade cyanide. In case I'm ever tortured for information. Uh, yes, I'd like to keep it in a hollowed out tooth like any professional would, but I haven't found the right drill yet. Hey, you know what? Taste some, Kyle. If you like that kind of stuff, put a little spur on you, taste the Texas in a coat. What do you think of that? And what purpose would that serve? No, thank you. What about this one? What's in that? This one is cyanide. This one is protection. It's a condom. There's a condom <laughs> in there. <laughs> what does it do and how well does it do it? That is the key to life, my friend. Well, dang, man, if that's the case, check this out. It can work like a, like a brass knuckle. You can mess the dude up. See? I have a feeling.
feeling one of those ducks is going to be used way before the other one. Jeep again? Because it's easier for them to trap us. Who? Exactly. Right. Still finding faster with this help. You haven't seen this city during rush hour. It's wrong. Very wrong. Watch out. Anyone who trips this wire gets a nail in the head. Ta-da! Is all this actually attached to anything? No, it's not attached to anything. It's connected. I siphon my power from a pharmaceutical company across the way. What the fuck do you do in your coyote? <laughs> what do I do in here? I have a pirate television show on Channel 11. It used to be Channel 11 anyways, until everything went digital. Now, anybody with an old set and a pair of rabbit ears can watch my show and get the information they need to survive. I could have never imagined this, but Lord help me, Cout, I ain't surprised. I actually have a show to do in a couple of minutes. I want to talk to the monkeys about your situation. All right. The monkeys? Yeah. The monkeys. Whoa! Dang, man! Sorry. It's all right. She ain't civilized. It's not your fault, I guess. You just for future reference, you put it upside down to preserve the brim. Oh, I'll, I'll remember that for future reference when I'm preserving brims. Shut up. Earthquake. Well, it has a hard time telling the difference between anxiety and guilt. But these puppies, these puppies can tell the difference between anxiety and guilt and even fear. Now you see what they're thinking, don't you? They mass produce these puppies, put them into hats, connect them with RFID tags, and get you to wear them somehow. I mean, hey, 
It's all in your best interest. It's all for safety, right? And then the police can sense a mass experience of fear instantaneously. And dispatch the troops to control and contain. And in our last story, I have a special mission for you, monkeys. My friend here is switched on. He is risking his life to defy them. Now, he has to locate someone, a roughly 45-year-old male of Italian descent, Vincent Sapienza, somewhere in the Los Angeles area. Now let's keep this on the dark nets, monkeys. Watch your necks and your headspace. That's it for this transmission. Stay in the shadows. So, what do we think? I think you think too much. What's an uh, RFD? What planet are you from? Texas. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You saying something about Texas? No, no, no. Not about Texas. The American South in general is entirely awe-worthy. I mean, come on. It's those on whom the people in control's plans worked both the most and the least. Okay, okay. Most of America is stuck in the middle, all right? But the South, the South is caught in extremes. The question is, what extreme are you? Whichever one I want to be, what's he talking about? Well, uh... Thanks for all your help, Coyote. We'll be at the Thompson Hotel if you hear anything. Yeah, we should get. Wait, 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 wait. One second, all right? One second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. All right, you see this? This is a GPS. We're gonna put this in here. Use this. It's gonna help you find the addresses that you need to find. But don't use it for more than three days. Never use anything for more than three days that can be traced. <laughs> before you go. Uh, let's check one little gift, one more little souvenir for the road. This, okay? This. See this? Take this. And this. You can take this as well. Thanks. That boy sure thinks the whole world's out to get him, don't he? He's got a smart mouth on him, too. He thinks he's real smart. I had a manager at Dixie Grocery had a smart mouth like that and I had to pop him in that mouth. I don't think he was putting you down, Lee. I know that. He's putting down Texas, man. I don't think he was. I think, in a way, he kind of complimented the South. I think. There it is. It's certainly open now. Maybe they're selling hot dogs. None? She's a girl. Well, you know what? We're in Los Angeles, and uh, I'm what you call a transsexual halfway through my transformation. Mm -hmm. That's right. Unless you want some kind of discriminatory lawsuit on your hands, I suggest you let me in there. Hold the fuck right there, all right? That's right. It's taking so long. This town ain't nothing, bro. All right, Mr. Half Transsexual, go home, put on a skirt, and maybe I'll let you in. What? What? Did I stutter? Fuck off. That's all right. I got a dress here back in the hotel. Oh. I can't believe you told that asshole you were a tranny. What were you thinking? What the hell was that? You know what gave me the idea, don't you? What? Kyle, talk about that hot girl on the sidewalk. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Oh, yeah, we got her. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay. All right. Oh, 
Hey, thanks for coming. Coyote. Oh, shit. What does he do, play it over and over again? In Los Angeles one day and you're already on television. He has to love him someone. A roughly 45-year-old male of Italian descent, Vincent Sapienza, somewhere in the Los Angeles area. Now let's keep this on the dark. Just enlarge this. I right, stop. This guy's making his rounds. What do you mean, you've seen him before? Yeah, on TV. On what? Well, not actually. Well, yes, exactly, TV. <laughs> Get to the fucking point, Max Hedrum. Where the fuck have you seen this guy before? Another security tape? What are we talking about here? Well, you know that club I'm in? The Legion of the Flying Monkeys? The what of the fucking what? You know, it's how I convinced you to hire me for this job, man. We get together and, you know, we play Dungeons and Dragons, organize tech meets, and... Okay, all right, dude, yeah, I will show you. Me. Let me show me. It's a bunch of local hackers and crackers who watch this pirate TV show. The guy who does it is kind of wacky, but he has some good intel. There he is. Okay, man, you are welcome. Dick. Vincent Sapienza somewhere in the Los Angeles area. Now let's keep this on the dark. What the hell is this? This public access thing my IT guy showed me. I mean, do you believe this guy? One minute he's out front on our security cameras, the next thing he's showing up on TV. Looking for Vincent. You hear me, you motherfucker. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna feed you your fucking heart. I'm gonna kill him inside of a goddamn week. Why did you let him leave the club? Because he's a slippery little bastard, man. I'm up top, he's down there. I could barely see him before he'd slithered off into the night. Besides, man, you're the one who let him go in the first place. Get the fuck out of here! And find him! These puppies. These puppies can tell the difference between guilt Just relax, we'll get the problem fixed before we open tonight, okay? Look, I don't have time for your whiny bullshit, Walter. Thank you. Oh. Man, I made the coolest shit. Well, it's about time you decided to show up. Walter says the keg lines are freezing up again. I assume you know that our buddy Ben is back in town. I already told you. 
He left and he didn't tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jacob wants you to find him. If he never told me he was leaving, I am clearly the last person he wants to see. He probably thought I'd turn him in, which I would. I don't care about any of that. What I want you to do is go to every bar that the two of you had a drink at, go check with every dealer the two of you scored from, go to every fucking parking lot that you blew the motherfucker in. <laughs> Sorry. He's bound to turn up somewhere, okay? Okay, I'll ask around tomorrow. How about today? Who's gonna work the bar? Walter? He's a bar back. He can't even make a Jack and Coke. My guys can handle it. Your guys scared the customers away. You don't think that he knows that you two are fucking... Huh? You're lucky you still got a job here. You do whatever the fuck Jacob and I tell you to do. Got it? Fine. Take Walter with you. Why? Because I don't fucking trust you. Max, hey, please tell me that you know where this conspiracy nutball is. Coyote? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows where he hangs out. He doesn't know that. And most of us monkeys do. All right, good. good. You give me his address. Got it. When he does, I want you and Walter on him, okay? We find out everyone he's talking to, everywhere he goes. I need to know everything about why he's back in town. He's gonna recognize me. Then use his little crush on you and find out whatever you can, okay? Here. Use this. It'll help you hear ten times better. Some cloak and dagger shit, huh? Thirty bucks online. This isn't a fucking game, okay? If this little motherfucker gets away, we are all fucked, understand? If this James Bond shit doesn't work, I'm gonna put my fucking boot in your throat. Gotcha? Okay, good. Now, you, go find Ben, okay? Thank you. Bye. Where do you hire these people? Spent most of the day going through most of the data. Most of which, I admit, is crap. Some of it. Some of it is very interesting. Like, like I got three good matches. Three good possible matches on the name you gave me. One of which is practically famous and lives right around here. All right, I'm hitting the head. Wait a second. What? You've acquired a tail. All right, Cody. You gotta learn how to relax, man. Seriously, you get yourself all riled up on that TV show of yours, man. The guy in the sunglasses, right? I seen like 15 guys out here with sunglasses on. Okay, okay, all right. Try not to turn your heads this time and just turn your eyes to your nine o'clock, okay? Now that guy's been reading the same page for 20 minutes. No, you ain't. That's because you turned your heads. Hey, bro, he's right. You're right, Coat. All these people out here, they're all in cahoots, and they're all following you. So we gotta go. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for all your help. Here's your little GPS thing. Take care. Hey, don't. Just sit down, all right? Sit down. There's a second one. There's a second one at your five, okay? Five, and you're five. All right, Kyle, I'm trying to be polite, but you're starting to piss me off. Listen to me. We're going to have to make a run for it, all right? And the second one looks quick. So maybe we oh, come on. Anyway. Really? You don't believe me? They, they probably have comms. There's two of them, right? They probably have comms. That would make sense. See this? I call this my belly flop. Disrupts all cellular frequencies for 10 yards. Now I turn this baby up to maximum and you're gonna see those two jump like a SETI eel is having their cerebral cortex for lunch, all right? I don't know what all you just said. I'm telling you, brother, I've seen like a million of those at Home Depot. Not exactly. Oh! Ah! Huh. You gotta be fucking 
kidding me? Following us. Us? You mean him? This ain't got nothing to do with us. Uh, I cover my tracks, noob. Listen, I figured that since they know you're an ex government man, they knew you'd suspect a tale, so they sent two. Everything ain't always a conspiracy, pal. <sighs> and guess what? Ben ain't a secret agent. He's got a long way to go. And you ain't freaking Yoda either. You don't know who I know. One phone call and you have no tin buck two to go back to. All right, all right, all right, you guys. Hey, hey. Now look, Lee is right, all right? I'm not some government rogue agent. I'm just a guy, all right, who lost his memory, who's looking for his father and just trying to move on with my life, all right? That's it. Ben? Ben, I suspected that you weren't a government agent from the beginning, okay? At least not our government. Now. I have something I want to show you. It's why I tracked you to the cafe, all right? Now, it's a very common name. Yes. There's one star among them that I want you to see. Hold this. Um, it's a USB. You need a firewire. Where's my mind today? <laughs> Damn, good question. Oh. Oh. Vincent Sapienza, the biggest Italian drug dealer in Southern California. Now, there aren't many good pictures of him, and this one isn't very good. However, that, that is most definitely the nightclub you found registered to his name. Interesting. Yeah. So you think these two people who are following us work for Sapienza? You think our father's some sort of crime lord? All right, Ben, I'm putting my foot down. All right. Kyle, you're entertaining as all hell. Kyle, bless you, but we got a mosey on. He's up to all kinds of illegal stuff. We gotta get Lee, out of here. it's either that or the government is sending spies after some homeless guy with a pirate radio show. Uh, TV show, TV I'm sorry. show. Sorry. All I know is folks are following him and we gotta go. Lee, Kyle might have something real here now. Right. Let's, let's take a look at this and figure out what the hell is going on. I know where your daddy's at. What do you mean, my dad? We always had different daddies, you know that. No, Lee! No, I did not know that! God! How could you lie to me about this? I didn't lie. I just didn't fill in that blank. You said you were to help me. I am! I'm fessing up right now! Look, I wanted to tell you. I didn't want to disappoint you. Mom said he was a poor, fat, stupid drunk. And she was drunk when she met him. She hated him. You have to remember that. Look it. I'll go find him. Give me two hours. Nah, I'll get him. Bring him here. Right now. Let's go. Here, I'm gonna get something to drink. You want anything? No, hurry up. I just gave him a call. He lives right up here and he's gonna meet us outside and uh and that's it. Okay? Just like that. I told you. Come on. It's just a little bit up. But look, you didn't seem too excited Lee. on the phone. I'm just saying don't get your hopes up. You know what mom said about him. Mr. 
Mr. Sapienza. I'd like you to meet Benjamin. Your son, he's come a long way to meet you. Hey. I I'm sorry we weren't in contact. I it was hard times, you know? And, and I thought we shouldn't have a... Um, rela re relationship? Relationship, yeah. Sorry, dude. Nice. You only get half because you screwed it up, you old coot. Fuck, I just get that. Wait. Fuck you! You're always telling me about my behavior. How I'm not supposed to fucking cuss and be polite. Who the fuck are you, huh? Sorry. You're so full of fucking lies. You're so full of fucking lies. Going back to the hotel. Let's just go home, man. Do what you want, Lee. I'm gonna find him. I don't care if I'm disappointed. I have one good memory, and it's linked to him. One good memory. You're freaking out over one memory in two weeks of what? A toy? And while you're running around seeking truth and doing whatever it is you're doing, the rest of us gotta deal with the real world. The real world? What do you know about the real world, Lee? You live with pigs and goats. He's a criminal, Ben. You're a criminal. After high school, you came out here looking for him. Ten years we didn't hear from you. And I heard all kinds of stories. That you were dealing drugs. Mom got sick. You didn't care. We had no choice but to assume you hated us. And if Dr. Jenkins hadn't told you you had a brother, you wouldn't even know. I might as well just be some guy to you. So yeah, I'm real sorry you got amnesia. But you ain't gotta miss mom because you can't. Oh God, you know what? I am sorry, all right? I am sorry that my previous incarnation was such a fucking dick, all right? I'm fucking sorry, Lee. That's a bad son, too. No, you weren't. You stayed with her. You took care of her when she was sick. I'm the one who left. You know what I did a week before she died? I was out drinking with my friends, as usual, came home and puked all over my bedroom floor. I made her, I made her get out of her wheelchair and get on her knees and clean it up because I was too tired. 
How messed up is that? There's nothing I can do about Mom Lee. Nothing. But there's something I can do about him. some smokes. Just think for a little while. If you're gone, when I get back, I understand. Benjamin Meadows, get in the car right fucking now. Nice place. You're gonna be funny right now? <laughs> Come on, drop the act. Where the fuck have you been? That's a really, really good question. I have no idea. Excuse me? Listen, I don't know why you were following me. I woke up in a hospital two weeks ago, and I don't remember anything from before it. What are you doing? Nothing, I'm, I'm serious. Okay, first you don't want me to go with you to your mother's funeral. And then instead of being gone a weekend, you're gone for three weeks? You're definitely up to something, motherfucker. Okay, whoa, look, I was in an accident after the funeral. I just told you I have no idea who you are, all right? Oh my God. So who are you?
Why don't you just tell me your name? He's not going to stop looking for you until he finds the money, Ben. Who? I, I don't know anything about any money. Of course you don't. So. Hey. You gotta remember. Who's looking for me? I wanna talk to him. Have you been listening to me? He will kill you. Why? Why will he kill Why me? Why are you doing Why? this? We work for Jacob, all right? You stole a lot of money from him, that's why. I'm sorry. We'll stay here until you remember where the money is, and then we'll, we'll go to Cabo. Cabo, here we come! Woo! Dickhead Redneck. Where the fuck is Ben? You know, that term don't really offend nobody. So where the fuck is he? Lee! <sighs> Sorry I was out all last night. I couldn't believe what I've been through. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> Why are you protecting him? He's a fucking traitor. What are you in on it with him, you little fucking weasel? Look, I ain't got no clue what you're talking about, man. Lee? Ben, we were, we were fucking close, man. We're like, we're like fucking brothers. I mean, best friends tight. I remember this one time about a month ago before all this shit went down, we picked up these three beautiful LA trifecta beauties, blonde, brunette, redhead. Took them up to the VIP room, you know the one up top there? Just fucked them 40 ways from Sunday, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure all their mama's real proud. Oh, smart ass. Damn. 1967, the Israeli government and the United States president secretly agreed that a U.S. ship, the Liberty, by allowing the United States to retaliate against Egypt, thereby helping out Israel. <laughs> you know, you know what happened that night, huh? The drugs started wearing off. And this little redhead, she, uh, she started yelling and hollering at Benny. Talking about, oh, he raped her, and took advantage of her. She was real fucked up. Benny was scared to death. He looked like someone hit him in the back of the head with a fucking brick. You see, you kill 50 people the right way. You're gonna get 250 million people willing to give up their freedoms for you to protect them. So 
I crept up right behind that little red head. And I slit her throat. Took him out to the desert and buried him. That was the last time I saw my friend before he did this stupid bullshit. Before I sign off, to whomever is outside my residence, the laws of search and seizure clearly require you to not. We're all looking for the truth. But it's a slippery thing, the truth. So watch your necks, your headspace, and your timing. That's it for tonight, monkeys. You gotta ask yourself a fucking question. If the man who's sitting next to you with a knife to your eye is willing to slit the throat of an innocent 18-year-old little girl to protect his friend, what the fuck do you think he is going to do to a grown-ass hillbilly protecting his enemy? How do you know he didn't just leave and go back home? No. There's no way he would have left his hat like on the floor, ever. And he left the keys to the truck. Well, it sounds like someone wants to keep you very quiet, my friend. And they are going to great lengths. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, the mystery blonde? She said you guys all work for this Jacob, right? It seems that way. Uh, and maybe you both work for Sapienza. And the chick, she said you stole some money. What if it was your father's money? You said he's a big deal, right? All I have is the word of some girl that I don't even know who says she's my girlfriend or something, that I stole a bunch of money and I have this guy Jacob after me. How does that connect to Sapienza? That sounds like a bunch of thugs. Or underlings, right, foot soldiers? Now I think that Sapienza is your father and that you both worked for him. I also don't think you have amnesia. Amnesia doesn't work this well at all. Now I think you were drugged with a very potent chemical called propranol. It is a military grade interrogation drug created by DARPA for the DOD. I read about it on the whistleblower dark webs. It gives you amnesia, and it makes it look like hip trauma. So? So, when I was researching Sapienza, I came across two news stories about two separate trials, both of which ended in acquittal when the key witness had to recant because of amnesia. More specifically, amnesia brought on by head trauma. Now, one of these acquittals was just days before your accident. Now, doctors are so baffled by amnesia, they probably couldn't tell the difference. Now, I think, I think that Sapienza uses this drug on people he can't allow to live with certain information, but he can't allow them to die either. Important people, high-profile people, like key witnesses, like sons. You think my father drugged me and wiped my memory clean? Crazier things happen. No, they don't, Coyote. I totaled my car. That was very real. No, 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 no. I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that you totaled your car. What I'm suggesting is, what if someone came into the hospital after you were admitted and inserted this drug into your IV? Now, how would anyone know? There'd only be one witness, okay? There'd only be one witness. That witness would be you. And you have no memory. I need a drink. There's coffee over in the... Something alcoholic, Coyote. Jesus. Okay. So, my father was some big time drug dealer who likes to wipe people's memories clean, and it turns out I have amnesia. And I stole a bunch of money from someone that works for him, or maybe even him. I wonder how much fucking shit I'm in. Now, if we can 
can assume that all of the employees of Sapienza have access to this <coughs> drug, then the question, the question that we need to be asking is, who benefits the most from you having no memory? Look, I need to find Lee. That is the most important thing. He does not need to be involved in whatever the fucking heck this is. Tomorrow we're gonna find a way. I have friends coming over. They can help us. Risk! Yes! Yeah! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Today, guys. You know, we could uh, hit up their bank accounts, empty them. Simple. We're not gonna hit them financially. We need another angle. We need to get in that nightclub. Get out of Afghanistan, okay? The one thing we all know That's for sure. is that you cannot fight a war in Wait, Afghanistan. I, I thought we were talking about the nightclub. We are talking about the nightclub. The, the Afghanistan is a metaphor for where we're not going. Everywhere so, uh, nightclub. So we're, we're going to Iraq. Iraq. So then where are we? We're going to Iraq. Northern Europe. Over here. <laughs> To Canada, we're sending the red people to Canada. So where's the nightclub? The nightclub is more than Europe. Europe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you guys up right now? <laughs> <laughs> you need some coffee there? I need some, please. Oh. Dude, you look rough. Now, <laughs> we have a plan. Now listen. First thing we need to do is assume that the place to look for Lee is the nightclub. Specifically, the office above the nightclub. Now remember, there was lots of video cameras there, more video cameras than normal. Now we can exploit that to our advantage to get you in. How? By taking the LEDs out of a whole jimmy whack of remote controls and placing them Ray on sunglasses. Ta da! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more, one more, one more, one more. All right, all right. You see, unlike laser pointers, which require precise aiming, these, we can walk anywhere in the range of these cameras, and our heads are just going to be white orbs. We'll all be indiscernible. And that should create enough chaos that you should be able to look around while they're scrambling. I use my wand of magic missiles. <laughs> uh, hold on. I gotta call you back. Hey, uh, we got a weirdo at the front gate. Yeah, hold up. I hear somebody banging on the door now. Roger. You're gonna use a walkie-talkie to tell me when you found a blind spot.
Hey, you got an intrusion on the upper level. Get your ass up there. Where the hell did you go? Go. You're at man. Come on, dude. Malachi's gonna have our asses. Okay, we got two, two on the lower level. Dude, where are you? Trespassers in G2, hurry! Hey! Guys! This is private property! Get the hell out of here! What are you doing? It's locked. Jacob? Or are you Vincent? Benjamin. What have you done, boy? You leave me no way out of this. Did you think that the powers that be would let me let you live? How could you do this? Jesus, you weren't the best on my staff by any means, but I could trust you. Listen, if I could just talk to Vincent, I'd explain to him Stop everything. Stop playing games. Even Vincent can't save you now. Let my brother go. Please, he has nothing to do with any of this. What? That guy you guys beat the shit out of, he's my brother and he's innocent. Well, he took a lot of pain just to tell us that his name is Kelly and he's halfway through a sex change operation. Listen, I know I did something bad to you or to Vincent. This, this girl, she told me we took some money. This girl? Some money? You listen to me, you little shit. I don't know what planet you've been visiting, but on this one, 
You fucked a lot of people out of a lot of money. If I could remember where it is, I'd give it back to you, I swear to God. Oh, would you really? Yeah. Sir. I'm fucking busy, Malachi. It's important. guy Max, the one I told you about, he found yeah. this sewn into the pocket of the jacket. You're never gonna believe what's on it. This is jacket. Seems like uh I uh hope everything's okay. My friends can be a little bit of a handful, but trust me, they're harmless. You're saying that you don't remember anything about me or what we do here. No. You seem to know me quite well, but none of this, none of this is familiar to me, I swear. Please, how can I find my father? Sapienza. No one finds Sapienza. He's worked in seclusion for over eight years through me as his only contact. You were the connection to my chief investor, your father. You're dismissed. What did I do for you? I'm not going to tell you that. Your father didn't tell you everything about what we do around here. Maybe, maybe because he didn't trust you. Your father didn't trust anyone. We all misjudged you, it seems. What was in my jacket? Your freedom, Benjamin. Hello? You got what you wanted. You're fired. Go home. Really want to meet your father? That's where he lives. Your brother's had a chance to clean up. He's waiting for you. That's it. That's it. I don't know myself. I deserve it for what I did. You here to rescue me, big brother?
Why'd you come on this trip? When you showed up to Mom's funeral, you completely ignored me. And I can't say I'm surprised. Because I never had a brother. Not one that was nice or gave a crud. And they called me, told me to come pick you up. You could have rotted in that hospital for all I care. Doctor kept insisting that you needed help. So I took you in, but I didn't believe it. Not one bit. When I saw you cracking jokes with Aunt Stace, <laughs> I knew you really had no idea who you are. Must have been a pretty bad brother. Old Ben used to put cigarettes on me when he was 16. I got three of them. Because I was 12, tiny. New Ben cracks jokes. I don't know what happened. I like this bin. This is a good bin. Uh, anyway. Dang it! I'm gonna have to get a new one already, man. I wouldn't say that. It was covered in shit, yeah, but it's, it's just a dent. It's character. You think I took the money? I fucked up. Melanie had this idea that we'd run away together, and I—I I didn't know she was serious. It was too late. It's been four days. We've been fucked up now, and I. She's not good for me, I know that, but I, I can't resist her. I'm not innocent, I'm just, I'm afraid I'm not gonna live long enough to tell you what I need to tell you. It's like you always said, don't trust anyone. I'll break on the gas pedal a teaspoon of this and it'll be just like the McKinsey case all over again. It's the only way I know out. Either I, either I get killed, I kill myself, or I kill a part of me. A part of me responsible for all this. 
anyone understands. Well, I want to start over to you. I got caught up. I'm going home for mom's funeral. At least I can say goodbye before I do this. I'll probably come to find you. I'm bringing the suit you gave me. You can find this. And everything you need to know to find the money in the pocket. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. It was nice to meet you. I guess. Now, all those years you were gone, picked up a little hobby. This is a Smith & Weston Model 2944 Magnum. 2944 Magnum. Correct. Yeah. Used to be the most powerful handgun in the world, and that's exactly why Dirty Harry used it. Now, watch how I do this, and you gotta stay real steady, put down the sights. You see, like, you see how that went? You gotta be real steady. Yeah. It takes a lot of practice. Yeah. You know, you gotta just work hard. Do you mind it. if I give it a try? All right, just be careful. Yeah. And just keep your arms straight. Good. Well, I guess who? No shit. Hello, guys. Sorry I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. It was implied to me that I better be moseying on sooner rather than later, which I'm okay with. Never stay in one place for more than three months, right? That's my old motto. Anyway, I hope you don't mind. I couldn't find an address for either of you, just your next of kin, and I do have to say, Color me impressed. <laughs> I wanted to show you my baby. Mm-hmm. See that? She's got a high-powered Jenny on her. I don't have to go into land for two whole years. Anyways, I wanted to say hello, let you know that I'm doing well. I hope you guys found what you were looking for. And as you can expect, this message will self-destruct in five seconds. Just kidding, it's like 30. <laughs> <laughs>